if we open up the box, we see that inside there's room for a Munchkin game and a bunch of other Munchkin parts. Here we have some fuzzy video of the custom circuit board I had printed in China, along with the parts and the chips and the software I wrote for it. You just have to imagine the software. Right there is where 9-volt battery would go if I had one plugged in instead I have an adapter. And here's an on switch to turn on the uh, counter. Now first it shows a 1 for the score for everybody and a little decimal point to say whose turn it is. If you press the middle button it changes to indicate which player you're changing the score for. But the up button of course changes the score up. The down button removes the score down all the way down to negative 9. The score can go up to 99, though I'm not going to show that right here. It'll take too long. Go back down. And there's your basic score. Now, if you press all three buttons at the same time, it will put you into the programming mode. We can say if you want three players, or maybe another three players, or these three players, those three players, two players, or the other two players. Push the center button again in this mode, and you can change the scoring mode. Now, Munchkins which this box is originally designed for, has a limit of 10. When you get to level 10, then everybody else loses. So it will indicate that with an L for loser. Now, it's still keeping score for everyone. It just won't display a score for anybody who has a score of less than 10. But they're still there. Now, if we go back into program mode, we can demonstrate the other scoring mode because Munchkins also has a variant called Epic Munchkins, where instead of uh, winning when you get level 10, you win when you get level 20. So if you put in Epic Munchkin mode, it will indicate that by letting go to level 20, in which case everybody else is an epic loser.